All right, music fans and truth seekers and geeks of all kinds, welcome. A harmless uh, Dave here. <laughs> Doing a little music and politics, mostly politics in this episode. Sorry, folks. I apologize in advance for everything. I apologize for me. I apologize for everything I've said. Yes, take it to the bank. I apologize. And I'm doing it, of course, in real time for, you know, a few real people out here just like you and just like me. So John Bon Jovi has gone out on a limb and he's endorsed Kamala Harris for president. You'll never believe the reason for the endorsement. It's it's mind-blowing. And in fact, this is more word salad uh, and it's it fits perfectly so far with the campaign, the uh, Harris Walls campaign. So let me uh, let me get into this a little bit. John Bon Jovi endorses Kamala Harris and Tim Walls because the truth matters. The truth matters. So if you vote for Harris and Walls, you know you're getting the truth. Now look, folks. Uh, I mean, you may. I don't know. I don't even know where to go here. So essentially, just the one side over here has the truth and the other side, they don't have any truth at all. All right. So we learn by this endorsement, this very vague rationale for the endorsement. But you'll find out later on that John is dialed in and is a fundraiser. He's, he's more than just an endorser. So John Bon Jovi uh, has endorsed and he's also shared his recent song, The People's House, featuring Michigan gospel and country duo, The War and Treaty. Gospel, huh? Like the gospel of Jesus Christ kind of gospel? Okay. You know, I'm sure people who love God and love the gospel are all lining up behind Kamala Harris because she's very pro-life and she's, um, you know, very traditional marriage and so forth yeah because when i look at the word gospel i'm thinking spreading the gospel of jesus christ right it's a gospel and country duo or it's just a form of music and it doesn't really mean anything to these people does the gospel mean anything to anybody Do, does it come with any sorts of you know things that you you would associate with the gospel i don't know I don't know. I, I get that people think that Christianity has been hijacked by Christian nationalist type people, whatever that means. The bottom line is, um, traditionally, people who believe the gospel or follow Christ uh, do have a set of rules that they try to live by. They're not successful all the time. You know, it's we're all kind of defective here. Nobody's perfect. There was one person who walked on the planet who was perfect. There are a couple other guys that walked and uh, were taken as well that were doing a pretty good job, but there was only one. And so we're all trying to live up to him. Anyway, uh, in a post on Friday, the 62-year-old Bon Jovi frontman wrote, The People's House is a song that celebrates this beautiful place that we call home from sea to shining sea. The truth matters. OK, um, I'm waiting for a punchline here, but there is no punchline. This is much like a Kamala Harris answer to a middle of the road question from a friendly reporter. He says, and the truth is on Election Day, I'll be voting for Kamala Harris and Tim Walls because I believe in the power of we, <laughs> not of me. I've written a song reminding us that out of many, we are still one. Sure. Sure. Okay, so let me analyze this um, vacuous uh, word salad here. Word salad seems to be the only thing on the menu when it comes to the Harris Walls campaign. And John Bon Jovi just jumping on the salad bar here. Um, he says, because I believe in the power of we and not of me. Okay, well, here's what I believe in. I believe in the power of we and not of big multinational corporations. I believe in the power of we and not of some 
group of unelected bureaucrats who are permanently stationed in Washington, D.C. Uh, I believe in the power of we and not of big pharmaceutical companies that are essentially bribing candidates for whatever office to do their bidding. Okay. Uh, I believe in the power of we and not of the military industrial complex. I could go on. I believe in the power of we and not of big intrusive government, unaccountable bureaucrats. I mean, you can just go down the list. The deep state, whatever you want to call that. All right. I believe in the power of we and not of all of those things. And he says, not of me. Well, you know what? I believe in the power of me as part of the power of we. Because if I don't stand as an individual, then as a collective, we all fall. So that statement on its, fa on its face is it's ridiculous. Doesn't make any sense, but it's, it's meant to be a soundbite. It's meant to be a slogan. So he goes on to say, I've written a song reminding us that out of many, we are still one. Great. E pluribus unum. Uh, unum. It's on the coins, I think. Used to be. I don't know. So Harris's husband, Doug Emhoff, responded to John's endorsement by sharing a photo he took with Bon Jovi. It's just like, hey, dude, I'm a celebrity. You're a celebrity. I'm the I'm the second dude and you're Bon Jovi. <laughs> He says, and he's trying to be cute, it's my wife, and it's now or never. This is what he wrote. Elections coming in November. Thanks for supporting Kamala. John Bon Jovi. Tim Walls also responded to Bon Jovi's post, writing in the comments, thanks, man. So grateful to have your support. Now, Bon Jovi now represents a demographic that is very Trumpian. The age group that he represents is the same thing with Springsteen. So you got New Jersey coming in, and Jersey's probably going to go for Kamala, right? I don't think... Uh, although New Jersey was pretty close during an election where they weren't even expecting the Republican to do all that well, and he came within just a few percentage points. I'm not saying Trump's going to win New Jersey. It's just... I think it'll be closer uh, than some folks think, and maybe it won't be. Maybe this is all decided in advance. You know how I said that there might be some kind of October surprise, or there's got to be something more. Now, the storms, you can't really say the storms are an October surprise, but they are definitely going to affect the turnout for voting, especially in North Carolina, and that could decide the election. In which case, I would be filing lawsuits now. I wouldn't be waiting on that. But these guys are all kind of just coasting along like this is a done deal. And I've been listening to the people on the other side. The Trump people feel as though Trump is doing well and he's gaining and he's winning. And in certain polls, he's up by like a point. You know, and I'm like, <laughs> that's... That's really not a comfortable place. If he's up by like eight points or 10 points, that's a comfortable place. But things can turn on a dime. I just still believe that these people, this is, again, you want to call this a conspiracy theory? I really don't care. These people are behaving like this is in the bag. No need to worry about this. All right. We're just going to that's there's very little campaigning. There there are very few interviews. I'm talking about Harrison Walls. She does an interview and it's kind of a disaster. But it doesn't it doesn't matter. Remember when they kept Joe Biden inside in 2020? He basically did a basement campaign and he won and he got more votes than any president in history. How did that happen? How did that seriously? How did that happen? Don't don't go down the road of, um, you know, what happened in 2020 and and worrying about that. How did it happen in 2020, though? 
I mean, what I'm saying is focus on this time around. A lot of people thought there's no way that Biden can win. And some people are saying there's no way that she can win. She was unpopular. You know that she didn't get one vote. She didn't get one vote during the primaries. And she did probably dead last, I think, or second to last. She was she was the worst candidate and had to drop out in 2020. And it was kind of surprising that Biden ended up uh, picking her for Veep. But, you know, you have to balance that ticket. You've got a so-called moderate. Biden is the moderate, right? And so you needed to balance that out with the slightly more radical Kamala Harris. So I don't know what the Har Harris and Walls are basically cut from the same thing. So there was no strategy here other than to make sure that the most radical wing of the party was represented. And it's very well represented here. And if look, if you're voting on personalities, <laughs> I'm sorry, personalities don't they don't fill up my gas tank. They don't lower the prices of food. They don't lower interest rates. They don't secure the southern border. They don't stop fentanyl from coming in the country and killing kids. They don't find the over 300,000 children that have gone missing. 300,000 children have gone missing. Now, people will argue back and forth with me. You've got your own little stats from your own little cute media websites, which are all state-run media. It's all state-run. Like, they're fact-checking in real time that nothing is going on in Springfield, Ohio. Nothing's going on there. This is taken way out of proportion. Yeah, there are a few extra people there. But there's no crisis. They're doing great. I mean, come on, don't exploit this. No, don't tell people what's happening in the country. That's not exploitation. That's news. That's news reporting. So anyway, one thing you can say about uh, Bon Jovi's endorsement, it's a lightweight thing here. Yeah, I'll tell you what the truth is. The truth is I'm going to go endorse. That's the truth. And the whole truth, <laughs> what's she for, John? Is she for lower energy costs? Is she for... See, here's the thing about Bruce Springsteen and Bon Jovi. They don't have to worry about money. They don't. This is now kind of like cosplay for them. They, I mean, they don't even have to tour if they don't want to. They got plenty of money, and they can try to influence this almost like a hobby. Like, yeah, I've got so much money and free time, and, you know, people listen to me. You know, I'm, a, I'm just a musician, but people listen to me as if I'm really intelligent. So, and I do charitable works. So people will think, okay, because I do charitable things, I'm voting for this person, then this person is the right candidate to pick. But yet there are people in the cities, people pr all across this country right now who are struggling, who have done this over and over and over again. And they're thinking, okay, these are the people that are going to take care of me. But then four years later, it's it's still the same thing. Now, I'll say this. The political system is broken. It's destroyed. And so at this point, you just take the, the road of least resistance here, and you hope that you can repair the breach in the system. I'm talking about the lobbying. I'm talking about the billions of dollars, you know, all the money spent on the presidential campaign from both sides could have gone down to Appalachia after that storm. You could have mobilized all of our assets, military and otherwise, and been on the ground. You could have um, staged, you could have been in that area and you know, that storm came up through there and you do it as a precaution. But I think you could have had much better outcomes if you took these things seriously and and this wasn't just a dog and pony show for two plus years of who's going to be the president. It's very distracting. It's psychologically draining. It, it hasn't been good. It, it's never good for me because I get so involved in this stuff and I shouldn't. And then other people tell me, yeah, I just tune out. I just tune it all out. I don't blame them. All right. I'm going to say it this way. I don't blame them.
for tuning out. Um, but there are so many people that they want to preserve this for the future. They want to try to keep this experiment going. I mean, I'm not saying if Trump loses, it's the end of the world. I, I'm not there. But I wonder, it's going to be much more difficult to dig out from that at the federal level. Um, and I'll say this. I mean, it makes whoever your state governor is, it makes that person very important. And maybe people will wake up if they feel more pain. I don't want that, though. I want to dodge that bullet. No pun intended for Donald Trump. You notice who they shoot at, too, just to wrap this up. Who are they shooting at? Just Would that indicate that maybe the guy who they're shooting at, yeah, maybe he's not a nice person and you don't like him as a person, so you shoot at him? No, he's a threat to everything that they want to do. Globally, not just here in the United States. So the foreign policy, the stuff with Ukraine is good. Like we should just keep pouring that. And again, there's another income source. We could have helped a whole bunch of people here on the East Coast of the United States. There should be a giant slush fund to help victims of things like this. This should be on your mark, get set, go. When I mean, we should be battling within the government. We should have arguments about which agency we should deploy and how much we can do in this and rather than gee we're, we've run out of money which we've said my said we've run out of money so all of that from bon jovi's endorsement and look folks there'll probably be a few more of these uh, i mean obviously i mean uh, the entire music establishment i mean from was it Taylor Swift all the way on down is is supporting uh, Kamala and Tampon Tim. So I don't know what to tell people. Uh, the life I used to take for granted is is a lot different. And I have to just make my own way and uh, be strong in the Lord. Pray and be strong. Don't don't let this um, get you down because I still fear that I'm going to wake up on election day from my theory that they had this all along and they're just playing with us all. So we'll see what happens. Um, God bless everyone. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel here. And also uh, you can watch me over on another platform and I will have a link to that in the description of this video as well as Patreon uh, YouTube memberships and good old buy me a coffee, which has been uh, a very good thing for this channel uh, since I decided to, I don't know, employ it or enact it or use it. All right, folks, um, this video for some reason has taken a lot of the wind out of my sails, so I will be back. Stay tuned for more right here on the RMO Network.